Okay. Can I get you to introduce yourself, please? Certainly. Are we ready to go now? Yeah. Okay, so uh, hello, I'm David Powell. I'm Mersey Travel's Programme Director of the New Fleet of Trent. Now, the last time we met you, uh, we were at the depot uh, waiting for this to come in uh, late at night. Now you've got it, and now you've had it running on the network. How many changes have you done since the first one arrived? Gosh, most of the, there's been quite a lot of finessing the software. There was a, there was a huge amount of testing still to be done when the train arrived. Uh, that's been successfully achieved, uh, and would have led to, uh, I would say, dozens of changes, primarily to software. The basic fabric of the train is still very much as it was. Uh, back at that stage, but we're just getting all the onboard systems to work correctly on our infrastructure. What has been the biggest surprise for you since getting it? Covid. <laughs> we didn't expect that in January 2020. It was a news story that we were reading, sort of watching on the news in China. Uh, it's been a really big challenge. The, the team that are responsible for the testing, and remember this is a, this is a bespoke train uh, basically everything needed to be tested. Uh, the team were, were spread across Europe uh, and travel restrictions, not only have we've had our travel restriction issues in the UK, other people have had their own, they've had various views about whether people can come to the UK. It's been really challenging for the last 18 months to get people to move around to be able to do their jobs. Uh, but we've got there. When do you expect the trains to actually be in service on the network? We'll be announcing that in due course. Uh, the, the milestone we've achieved a couple of weeks ago of taking ownership of this one, uh, achieving a provisional acceptance, is a great one. We need to own a complement of around about seven. Uh, that process will start to roll. We then need our, our, our staff training, or Mersey Rail's staff training, to roll out so that we've got a complement of onboard staff uh, ready. And we'll be announcing in due course once we know what, what, the, what the exact date is going to be. Now, these have got so many nice little features like uh, PowerPoints for plugging into uh, phones to... Yep. What's your most favourite feature? Oh my word. So I sound like asking what you, who you, which one's your favourite child. Uh, I think it's, it's not one feature, but it's the, it's the light, bright, open and airy feel of the train is what... That's, that's the vision we had right back at the beginning and creating a sense of space uh, and something that can be used better by, by, by our public. It came over as a big uh, negative when we initially researched people's views on the existing trains, and in particular that they, they were quite good for passengers who can get a seat, relatively comfortable, uh, but for passengers who stand very difficult to circulate. This train we think will be a huge improvement. And I think possibly the pinnacle of that um, ease of movement around and within and in and out of the train is the is the technology we've got at the doorway where we've got the sliding step. Uh, we've rebuilt nearly 100 platforms to get them all to a consistent height and offset and we'll be providing level access at uh, every doorway across the whole of the network. But together with the sense of space and uh, what we think will be a much more pleasant travelling environment for our passengers. Okay. Now, the very first time we met you was on a station platform. I think it was Brutal Strand. Brutal Oriel Road. Brutal Oriel Road. That's mm. it. Yeah. About midnight. That's it. With lots of people with cameras. That's it. I uh, remember that. And he, I remember you looking so excited when you saw it, even though you'd actually seen it all the way through oh, the project. I'd, I'd waved it off from Switzerland about a week earlier. Yeah. Well, it was great to see it come onto our network. It's the first time, first time it hit the, met, the, the Mersey Rail metals. It was quite a moment. What's it like now seeing it through actually it coming to fruition and coming into passenger service? It's very, it's very rewarding, but we've still got plenty of work to do. So uh, after, we've got a great event today with great weather, but uh, this afternoon there's a lot of hard work starts again. Uh, we've got to do it quite a few more times. I'll be looking at uh, accepting the second unit over the course of this week, and that'll be unit number eight. 
uh, looks as though it's ready, but I've got to go and check all that. Uh, the hard work continues, but it's, it's it's very satisfying to have reached this this key milestone. Now, unlike the other ones, I believe these units have got de-icing, so the icing issues of the past should be a thing of the past? Well, we hope so. We've got two things that could help us. Uh, one is a technology that Stadler have developed for using uh, in cold climbs like Switzerland, but t they've always used it with overhead before. Third rail is unusual on a mainline railway. In fact, Britain, I think, is about the only country that has third rail. Uh, but we, it's called frosty mode. Sounds a bit strange. Uh, but effectively, it's a little bit of smart electrical engineering that can help burn off ice. So that's fitted to this. Uh, we, we haven't had the chance yet to test it, we'll, but we will do. Uh, and then the other thing that these trains can do is they do have a small battery on them that's designed so that they can move within the depot so they can move a short distance under their own power so rather than get stuck on the third, a, set, a short section of frozen third rail it should be able to move under its own power and get beyond it. And we believe you're going to be doing leaf testing shortly as well? Uh, there isn't a specific leaf test to do but what we do know is that these have got a different braking system. They've got a They've got tread brakes where the, 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 the brake actually pushes on the, the rim of the wheel. It's the best way of cleaning a wheel you're ever going to get. Uh, so we did have these running through the, the autumn of last year, no problems with leaves. But there isn't a specific leaf test to do. Thank you and good luck and we look forward to seeing it in service. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you there.